Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to GTA San Andreas and our 100% playthrough where today we will be taking on Caesar's third mission which is called Farewell My Love, I believe. Um, probably shouldn't look that up beforehand, shouldn't I? Anyway, we're going to do that in this one. Um, it's a reverse of the race we did in the previous episode except there's more story to it. And... I'm hoping it goes as well as the last one did, because we did that first time. This one, we'll see. The little bridge bit can be tricky, I think. Um, I did this countless times as a kid and couldn't figure it out, but here we go. Um, so yeah, before we do so, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. Right, this is... Farewell, my love. Spot on. Now, you might recognise this gentleman in the picture right now from GTA 3. It is, of course, Claude, the person we play as in GTA 3. And it turns out that it's uh, Catalina's new boyfriend. So there you go. Nice little cameo. Well, the games are all linked, so... But this is how they're linked properly. Yeah, Catalina. Um, and fun fact for you, Claude and Catalina actually stay together for a long old time. Um, they stay together until the events of GTA 3, which is quite a while after this. So this sort of sets the foundations for the story of GTA 3 in a way. And Claude, of course, doesn't talk. But there he is. What? Then what the fuck was this about? I cannot keep my passions hold up. They need a release. That was a good release. Like hitting a man <laughs> with a frying pan while he sleeps. She this is girl, crazy. This is my new man. Are you jealous? Are you going to fight for me? Huh? No, no, we know all about Claude. Well, we will, because this is set before GTA 3, even though it came out, well, two games after GTA 3, so, <laughs> if that makes sense. I mean, I've already 100%ed GTA 3, not on the channel, but myself, um, and that took, well, longer than Vice City did, put it that way. Um, we, we've changed cars somehow. I came over in Catalina's old car. And we now own this car. I don't know if I don't know if we technically won this from Woozy Moo. Like as a pink slips kind of thing. I'm not sure, but look at that for a cut through. <laughs> um I think maybe we did. I think that was perhaps his car in the previous race. I don't know. It didn't really make that clear, did it? Um but yeah, this is the exact same race. Oh look, there is a cut through there, damn. Um, we could have gone down there. So yeah, exactly the same race as before, but in reverse. Um, again, same deal applies, really. I'm just going to focus on what I'm doing. Uh-oh. Not what the opposition is doing. Even though we've let them get back into the lead there, so we're in third now. Missed the little road. That was brilliant. Um, yeah, we've got a faster car. Like, our car is better than their cars. So, we should be alright as long as we focus on our own driving. Um, they are a little bit better than they were last time, the opposition cars. Um, in the last race we sort of comfortably ditched them really, didn't we? But a uh, little, little bit harder this time to get rid of the opposition. But it's not, you know, not too difficult. In a straight line we've got these cars easy, so... Our car is just infinitely better than theirs. Um, oh, it's raining. Terrific. Just to add a bit of uh, difficulty to it. Just because, you know, it's not hard enough already, this game. So, let's put some rain in. God, I'll tell you what. Um, Claude and Catalina are going for it in their car, aren't they? Whee! Eat my dust, son. You might have uh, been the guy I played as before, CJ, but you ain't as good at driving as I am, mate. 
famous last words, I'll bet. Right, so this is the little road section then. Um, it goes off-road again here. I actually kind of prefer the car that I used in the uh, the last one. Catalina's car from up at the cabin. This one is fast, but it doesn't handle quite as well in my opinion. But, you know, swings and roundabouts as they say. I'm chatting crap of course. Um, that marker you can see on my mini-map is just where I um, put the cabin. Um, this driving skill you can see in the top corner as well, we actually need to get that quite high to be able to do these stadium racing missions um, later on in the game. So we'll go and do those eventually, but I tried to do them a while back in the playthrough, but my driving skill wasn't good enough, so I couldn't. Um, which was slightly irritating. Uh, those are pure chaos, by the way. And here's the end. First... 3 minutes 22. We're actually 2 seconds faster this way. So there you go. And that is the end of that mission. And we're going to get a nice little cutscene again. Here we go. Unlucky Catalina. Unlucky Claude. Being a better driver ain't no unfair advantage. You think you're clever, but it is you who is missing the point. Not only was he racing, but he was satisfied me. Fully. What are you going to say Brilliant. about that? Hmm, the advantage of a stick shift, I guess. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Anyway, man, what is it? Cash or pink slip? There you go. Cash. Goodbye, Perfect. Goodbye, Mr. Johnson. I will not be missing you. Well, I will not be missing you. Hey, minute, See you in bitch. GTA 3. Or maybe shit? not, because... I don't know if I'll ever... My lover needs his car, you know. So can go to Liberty City. Liberty yes, City. they go to Liberty City. Um, settle down there for a while, and then yeah, GTA 3 happens time. in a... Not, how many, not sure how many years, but right. okay. a certain amount of years. Oh, I ain't gonna miss you. Um, will I play GTA 3 again as a 100% guide? Up, Possibly. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know if I can be bothered, to be honest. It took me so long the first time. And I nearly had a breakdown on some of the REM pages, so... But anyway, enough of me waffling. That's the end of Catalina and Claude. So, let's check our stats. 24.6% complete. Maybe the next one will get us to the 25% mark, which will be a quarter of the way through the game. Um, the percentages should start speeding up a little bit uh, once we move on to the next area of the game, I think. Some of them only give a small percentage, some give quite a lot. Um, but that, my friends, is going to do it for this video. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I will see you all next time.